Hawkeye by Matt Fraction is a run in Marvel Comics that I wanted to read from the very b uh, beginning, but unfortunately I sort of missed out on picking up the first couple of issues, and then by the time I decided I wanted to read it, they were out of print and all the rest of it, so I thought I'll wait for Volume 1 to come out. So there are actually two trade paperbacks of this available, but they are both collected in this oversized hardcover limited edition, which is, I don't know how well you can tell on camera, but it's actually as sort of tall and wide as a Marvel Omnibus, um, so the artwork is oversized. And, and bigger than you would get in a normal size, either trade paperback or comic issue. So this is um, written by Matt Fraction, and the majority of the artwork is uh, done by Dave Arjar, who I believe worked with Fraction on uh, Immortal Iron Fist a while back. Um, you also have art by uh, Francesco Francavilla, another great comic book artist, but it's really sort of David Arjar is, is sort of the star of the show in this. Um, so Hawkeye, for those of you who don't know, but you probably do because he was in the Avengers movie, is a member of the Avengers, he's Clint Barton, he's um, a normal guy basically, he has no superpowers, his superpower is that he has tremendous aim and he's a very talented archer. That's his sort of, um, that's what he's known for and that's what his role in the uh, Avengers, as you can see on the cover there, there he is with his bow and arrow. Um, this book basically follows what happens to Clint when he's not with the Avengers, you know, when he sort of days off, um, this is what he gets up to. Now, this can include um, anything from... Uh, sort of sneaking into a, a new um, hotel that's opening and, and seeing you know the, the circus that are performing there or help saving his neighbor's father from a hurricane it, it's got an, a, a wide array of stories in this now what I have to say I, I really love about this book is that each issue is very different and very sort of each issue is very sort of self-contained and rather than have um, a, a sort of overarching story, which it does have, but an overarching story which dominates every issue, um, it can sometimes, when that happens, feel a bit much for a monthly series, because I absolutely love, for example, Brian Michael Bendis' run on Daredevil, but it's such a sort of slow burner, I can't imagine reading that on a monthly basis, um, because you want, you know, it's a page turner. Um... This, however, like I say, most issues are very self-contained. You, you might have a couple of sort of double-issue story arcs and stuff, but for the most part, they're, they're very episodic. Um, and for that, I think, really complements um, the book and, and makes it a, an absolute joy to read. Um, what I do want to do is sort of point out the artwork by Dave Arjar, which is absolutely gorgeous, and some of my favourite artwork that's um, been done at the moment, um, as you can see there. And um, I do also really love Matt Fraction's writing. His writing, um, I've been reading Sex Criminals, as, as some of you may already know. Um, his writing is just as, as brilliant in this. The, um, I think the dialogue is probably his strongest um, aspect because he does sort of fall into the trap of, of well-established stereotypes or tropes at times, like the damsel in distress or the, uh, the Miss Male counterpart. Um, but other than that, the, you know, the, the stories are very sort of fresh and pacey and fun. Um, the dialogue's very funny and very naturalistic. And I must admit, I have laughed out loud quite hard reading these issues. Um, absolutely adored them. So Hawkeye is, is absolutely a brilliant book. Um, as well as sort of the normal Hawkeye book that's collected in this, there is actually an issue of Young Avengers which features um, Kate Bishop, who is the new Hawkeye. Uh, she actually has quite a large presence throughout the Hawkeye issues and is very much um, the other half of the double act with Clint Barton. Um, Matt Fraction manages to write her quite well um, and does make turn her into an interesting character because I have to say I've never read anything that had Kate Bishop in it before reading this um, but I did absolutely sort of fall in love with her character over the course of a few issues and, and really, you know, like I said, grew to love her. Um, Clint Barton's written uh, so well in this, he's very much a, a relatable main character, he speaks like normal people do and he's very funny and I do hope that Joss Whedon sort of takes a cue from this because we all know that Hawkeye is going to have a bigger part in the Avengers 2 because Joss Whedon's gone on record and said he regretted not having him have a, a very big role in Avengers 1. So I hope 
that the Clint Barton in that movie resembles the Clint Barton in this book because it is absolutely fantastic. Um, the book itself is absolutely gorgeous. Um, the reason I bought this is it works out to buy this oversized limited edition hardcover. This is actually cheaper than buying the two trade paperbacks. Um, if I can just take the dust cover off, I'll just show you what the actual hardcover looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love this book. It's probably one of my favourite... Um, well, I, don't, I don't like calling them graphic novels really, but it's one of my favourite collected editions that I own. I, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. So Hawkeye is one that I will be continuing to read. Um, I'm actually going to hold off buying it monthly and think I'll get it in the collected editions as the, these are released. Um, I don't know when the next one's due out. Uh, because volume 3 of the trade paperback isn't out yet, so it's going to be a while, but um, it's a gorgeous book, it's very well written, it's hilarious, has some of the best dialogue in comic comics being written today, very reminiscent of Brian Michael Bendis' early work, um, I would highly recommend it, um, so yeah, that's Hawkeye.